Man, guess who's back? I said, guess who's back? What's going on, guys? Welcome to Backchat TV, and I'm back with another story um, concerning Anthony Joshua and his former ch- uh, trainer, Robert Garcia. Um, Robert Garcia recently, in an interview, came out and um, addressed the rumours that he was not going to be training Anthony Joshua anymore. And um, he also spoke about Derek James being Anthony Joshua's new trainer. He said that, yes, he, he seems very likely that he has chosen um, Derek James. He seemed a little bit disappointed. You know, he would have liked to continue um, with Anthony Joshua because to Robert Garcia's credit, I think Anthony Joshua actually did improve with Garcia and, and I wasn't a fan of him going to Garcia. Um, I, I've always been a fan of Anthony Joshua going to Derek James. So when he chose um, Garcia for the for the Usyk fights, I wasn't really a fan. wasn't really a fan. I, I'm, a, I'm not really a great fan of Garcia, but I mean, I, I just thought it was just a wrong fit for, for Joshua and it kind of was, you know, it kind of turned out to be like that, I think. I just felt... But that's just my personal opinion. Um, having said that, to the contrary, Joshua actually fought really well under Garcia um, in the second fight against Usyk. So he did improve and that's a good thing. But I think now that he's found Derek James... And it is very likely that he is going to be training with Derek James. I think you're going to see some massive improvements. And Garcia had um, some uh, similar sentiments. He said that um, it's it's a good thing for Anthony Joshua to be training in the US, you know, and um, have some fights in the US. He said that it's the best move that could have happened because, you know, he'll be training with champions. And this is exactly what I said prior to hearing Garcia. I said this in a, in a previous um video that I did on Anthony Joshua looking for a new trainer um, it's the best move for Anthony Joshua I think he's been very smart here and um, I think it's going to pay dividends in his performances it's going to show up in his performances because Derek James is used to um, producing champions you know he's got Errol Spence he's going to be training with Errol Spence um, Errol Spence will show him some amazing things that Joshua just couldn't learn anywhere else that's what I believe um, obviously, you have unified champion uh, Jamal Charlo, and I just think all that experience is going to be invaluable for for Joshua. Also, you know, training with naturally smaller guys um, who are much fitter than he is, you know, that he's going to learn to, you know, increase his stamina, and um, I just think that it's going to make him able to keep up with the likes of Tyson Fury, potential fights with Tyson Fury and rematches with Usyk. You know, if he's going to have a chance at beating these guys and Deontay Wilder, although Deontay Wilder is a slightly different case because um, you can't really train to beat Deontay Wilder. Uh, But with the others, I think that Joshua could have a real chance after a good camp with uh, Derek James he could have a real chance at being competitive with the likes of Tyson Fury and Usyk in a rematch. I just think there's so many things for Joshua to learn um, and he's in the right place with Derek James. So I'm very happy to to see him uh, choose Derek James and that makes me, you know, that forces me to give him another chance. I think that he can be a world champion again now. You know, he's still young, still lots to learn. I think he can do it. I think it looks like a great fit. But obviously, we'll have to see. In theory, it looks good. We'll have to see how it plays out in practice. It might be it might be the worst uh, fit for Anthony Joshua, but I don't see it being like that. So I'm very optimistic about the, um, the alliance between them. But yeah, um, Robert Garcia didn't seem salty or anything like that. He seemed a bit disappointed, but it seemed to me that he wanted to, to carry on um, implementing some of the things and he didn't really have enough time to implement some of the things that he was trying to do with Joshua but overall he seemed very um, happy he gave he gave Derek James his, um, his approval <laughs> you know to, to train with Joshua so uh, it was a very positive interview um, a couple of things that he pointed out about Joshua um, he said that he needs you know more confidence to believe in himself more 
um, in previous interviews, he kind of alluded to the fact that he thought he was a bit lazy and things like that. But I think what he meant, it, that kind of got taken out of context, but I think what he meant is that um, with Anthony Joshua, he, he reiterated many times that he has all the physical presence, he has all the physical attributes you need to be a top heavyweight and to be the best, but it's mental. And he's not the first person to um, kind of call out Anthony Joshua's mental uh, mindset. He said that he doesn't, you know, believe in himself enough, number one. Um, and he he kind of, um, that kind of shows up a little bit in his work ethic. ethic. Um, whether that's true or not, you know, there are some mental things I see in, in Anthony Joshua. I don't think it's as bad as people make out, but... I do feel like uh, he does kind of lack confidence. If you look at, if you make a comparison between kind of Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, they've all been obviously world champions, but their mindsets are all different. You know, between the three champions, um, you know, Deontay Wilder believes in himself. You can tell he completely believes in himself. And uh, prior to the Tyson Fury fights, he had no doubt that he was the best in the world. And he fights like someone who believes he's the best in the world. You know, he's not scared to step into the fire. You know, he throws punches with a sometimes reckless abandon. But for the most part, he's very confident when he throws his right hand. And that's why it lands most of the time. He takes chances, you know, and uh, he goes for the knockout. And that's why he gets the knockout. Um, most of the time. That's the reason why Deontay Wilder's knocked out every single opponent he's ever fought. Um, with Anthony Joshua, there's a lot of hesitation there. It's, it's like he doubts himself. He's waiting for that the perfect moment. And, um, you know, there, there is just a lack, you know, even when he says, oh, I'm learning, I'm, I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to learn more and stuff like that. It's just an idea that there's, a, it's just a mindset that he doesn't really believe he's the best. It's like he's a bit of an imposter. I think he just is happy to of done the things that he's done and um, he still can't believe that he's at that level. Whereas Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, they seem like people who always knew that they would get to that level. You know, it's just a matter of fact that they're there, they, they believe in themselves. And that little difference in belief is very hard to teach. Um, can you teach it? I don't think you can teach that belief. I think it has to come either naturally or with a lot of experience. And I think that's what we see with Anthony Joshua. Um, but hopefully Derek James is a trainer that can bring that experience out of, of uh, Anthony Joshua. I feel like, obviously, he can improve on all the different skills, which he will. But the main thing that is going to get him over the line when fighting people like Deontay Wilder and uh, Tyson Fury is that self-belief. And I don't know if anyone can teach Joshua that. I mean, you only have to look at fighters like uh, Floyd Mayweather and, um, you know, uh, similar fighters like this, you know, they, their self-belief is what made them so great. You know, if you if you think about Floyd Mayweather, he never looked rattled in any situation. You know, it doesn't matter what you do, whenever, if he was, if he was hit, if he was under pressure, he just always looks the same because... He believes he's going to win, so it doesn't really matter what happens, if you know what I mean. He doesn't, he doesn't get uh, discouraged or anything. And uh, that showed up in his fights. You know, every fight I've ever seen, Floyd Mayweather, he's just supremely confident. And that kind of confident, I don't think you can teach it. But I may be wrong. Let me know what you think. Can Anthony Joshua become champion again under the tutelage of Derek James? Or is Anthony Joshua's career finished and he should hang up the gloves? Um, do you think it's a good fit? Do you think it's a bad fit with Derek James? Let me know. I'm on to the next one. Like, share, comment and subscribe. Man, guess who's back? I said, guess who's back? <laughs>